Okay. Okay, it's cold, just out of fridge. Hello guys, and my name is Yolita Brilliant and today I'm gonna show you this oriental cupping, the secret beauties uh, from... Hello guys, and today I wanna show you how to do facial cupping, gusha and jade rolling. We're gonna start with cupping. You don't have to do all these three, but if you do both, to we'll start with cupping, just cupping like increases circulation, might make your skin a little bit red. It might warm up your skin because when you pull the blood in, you get warmth, you know? Um, and Jade is kind of a little bit, well, it can be the scraper might still increase warmth. Depends how you use it, you know, but uh, rollers, they're always they're cooling and relaxing so cupping is more like invigorating but the way it works it um kind of creates blood flow in the, well not kind of it does create blood flow in there and it also mechanically um creates like oxygen in there because it's like lifting and then that oxygen and more more blood and more oxygen gets into between the tissues so it like feeds and helps to regenerate the skin better and you can sculpt with it too you can uh, use like sculpting motion let's say these these little labial folds crow's feet here now on the neck we never slide we just go like this and we're going up and away from the nose always lifting lifting and even if you put sunscreen or anything remember to not drag your neck always do up so the same with this we never leave cups stuck like this because you're gonna get that petechiae the redness that is associated you know with the back cupping but when professionals do the back cupping they know what they're doing they know the engagement sides you know all over the body so i wouldn't recommend I mean, you could do that at home if you consulted maybe or took a class how to do it, but um, better not to risk. So here we can, um, there's so two major techniques, you know, suction and let go, suction and let go, or you can slide. I just need a little more uh, look in there like this. You are suction and slide, suction and slide, and you see it's getting red but it's okay and you know then you do your whole body your whole face not your whole body and uh, you don't have to go too aggressive or for too long you know a little bit is fine and now we're gonna grab um, the jades okay so I pulled them off in the fridge earlier Plus, you don't actually really need to cool them in the fridge. They're, they attract coldness even by themselves, but if you want extra coolness, you can, um, you know, put them in the fridge or even freezer if you want. Like those spheres, like those round um, balls like this, those icy balls, those are extremely cold. Those are, will be even colder than these if you want like you need that numbing sensation i recommend those like if you did a peel or something it's like your skin irritated or burning a little bit i would recommend those but so with jade you can use it for cooling the puffing sensation uh, and in, in um, chinese medicine it's believed that jade in general is a stone it has these so almost like magical calming and purifying capabilities in itself I use it like this and then there is this shape especially in some of the jades or even more for like lifting and cooling down here because usually that's where people get you know puffiness and then oops you can you know lift here and after you apply products it's nice it's almost like you push in the products it reminds me the um See, this is nice shape here sculpting that um don't go too hard though you don't want to like break capillaries or do anything crazy you know if you start scraping don't you know this is just for more like relaxing calming the skin increasing a little bit circulation too 
um, but like new face you know like the shaping except those are with microcurrent or the one that LED the my skin buddy those Ina Forest's helps to get the product in those are you know with modern day sculpting tools but this one is ancient if you don't want you don't have to buy expensive of those microcurrent or LED or the uh, forest tools or even high well I guess the wand is a little different the high frequency that one is intact but yeah so you know you can um, also there's a technique where you do this and then shake like this I've seen in Asian culture they do that um, and then we go to jade rollers oops, which is the least a hard on your skin it's hard to overdo with these because just unless you're gonna press on purpose they're just like easily slide and they just feel like nice massage and they're super relaxing just make sure when you buy that you buy the ones that actually is a jade because they have like those fake made of plastics that they don't even get cold and like what's the point like okay you the manufacturing probably cost one cent I guess that's why they're selling those but look always for um, real stone jade rollers because they're gonna get cold and they're gonna suit your skin soothe your skin the best now you can use the small ones here on the nose which is nice you can lift these around the lip area and they use it also to kind of sculpt your face I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you uh, did I would appreciate a like and leave your questions in the comments down below let me know if you try these and if you like them and which one of these three have you used or tried or owned maybe I'm curious and I'm on Instagram and YouTube and website at you leader brilliant we have online shop as well for PC and Tanner Dell makeup, so we want to check that out. There's a link below with code. Um, and I guess that's it. I hope you have a wonderful, brilliant day. I really enjoy how relaxing this is. And before I go, this one is really nice to have any knots. This can be used for tension relief. Mm, feels nice.